Hey guys, what is up? Chris here with Kui's Friendship Unit, just me today. And uh, I found something kind of cool. I thought I would share it with you guys. It is Half-Life running natively on the Oculus Quest. Uh, I want to talk about how to get that set up. And uh, then I want to kind of give my impressions on the game. And uh, yeah, throw us a like if you found this video helpful. So here's the deal, guys. Uh, I, I thought this would be a good video to make around now because I picked up Half-Life for 99 cents on Steam during the Halloween sale and you guys could do the same during Thanksgiving or the Christmas sale so yeah that game almost always sells for 99 cents uh, what you are going to need to do this is a copy of Half-Life uh, preferably through Steam that's like the easiest Half-Life source will not work so you need an original copy of Half-Life uh, you need side quest to be installed and you need to be able to move your oculus quest in and out of developer mode uh, i'm going to link my personal guide for setting up your quest in developer mode and setting up side quest uh, mm -hmm. other than that uh, you're free to look for other guides but i would say uh, if you're not that used to doing stuff like this it will probably take maybe 30 minutes to to get side quest up and running and get your quest in developer mode uh, otherwise, you'll be good to go. And this whole process, if you are used to sideloading stuff onto your quest, should probably take 15 minutes. If you're maybe not as familiar, maybe give yourself an hour to do this from start to finish. So the first thing we want to do is install your copy of Half-Life to Steam. Pretty easy to do. Uh, next is to get the latest version of SideQuest. Uh, there will be a link in the description. Uh, make sure you have the latest version and make sure that your Oculus Quest is in uh, developer mode. Then you want to uh, go into SideQuest, search for Lambda 1 VR uh, in the games section and you can just install that right onto your Quest. Uh, at this point you will not be able to run Lambda until you can get Half-Life onto your Quest. So what you have to do is pull your Oculus Quest off of developer mode. And the reason that you need to do that is so you can actually add a folder, which you can't do in developer mode, uh, or it's not as easy. So add a folder called XASH. And then what you're going to want to do is navigate to the Half-Life folder on your PC that you installed, probably from Steam. And you're going to look for the uh, the valve folder and you're going to move that into the XASH folder onto your quest. This might take a few minutes uh, but pretty easy to do and that's really the whole thing. Uh, then you should flip your Oculus Quest back into developer mode so that you can see the unknown sources and that's where you find the sideloaded content. Uh, all you have to do then is restart your quest and you are ready to play Half-Life in VR. And that's it guys. Pretty easy from start to finish. The only thing I will say uh, is just talking about the game. And there's a number of improvements. There's going to be another link in the description for, for uh, improvements and a different version of this guide. What I think about the game, I mean Half-Life speaks for itself, but for the VR port, I'm particularly uh, impressed at how well it runs. It runs really, really well. Uh, the only time that there's really an issue is if you, uh, it seems like when it tries to load in a new area, the screen might go black or there might be one stutter, but the overall fluidity of the game is incredibly impressive. It seems like it's running at native 72 with absolutely no problems. And it seems like it's running at full resolution, which is also really nice. Uh, some oddities that I'm not so much of a fan of is the uh, there's there's no hand presence when you're not holding anything you don't have anything equipped and that just might be a little unintuitive uh, when you're getting used to things but if you reach out to where the thing would be in VR with your oculus touch controllers and click it will respond you just don't see your controllers in the game uh, then the next thing I I want to talk about that might not be that great for people is if you try to lean too far into an object, like I was trying to inspect stuff up real close, if you lean too far in, uh, your collision detection will go off and you'll actually push yourself back. Uh, and that's a bummer because you can't inspect things as close as you might like. 
Uh, in addition, you will also push yourself back. So if you're super prone to motion sickness, that might throw you off. But overall, super impressive port, full six degrees of freedom, full room scale, uh, full weapons in six degrees of freedom. And it, it really does run really great. Uh, this was a port or a, an update done by Dr. Beef. And yeah, super good, super fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just thought it would be kind of nice to share. Uh, it's a, basically a 99 cent 20 hour game that has stood the test of time. And uh, that's all for me, guys. Let me know if you have tried this. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.